Here are the latest updates of the ongoing Israel Hamas war. Netanyahu rejects calls for ceasefire. Israeli strikes continue to hit war torn Gaza City Sunday as ground forces fought with Hamas militants near Al Shifa Hospital, where thousands of medical officials, patients, and displaced people are said to be trapped with no electricity and decreasing supplies, AP reported. In a televised address on Saturday, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu rejected growing international calls for a ceasefire unless it includes the release of all 239 hostages captured by Hamas in the October 7 rampage that triggered the war, saying Israel was bringing its full force to the battle. Palestinian death toll rises to 11,078. The ministry in Gaza says Palestinian death toll in the war has gone up to 11,078 since hostilities began. More than 1,400 people have been killed in Israel. A child killed every 10 minutes in Gaza, WHO. On average, a child is killed every 10 minutes in Gaza, Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, Director General of WHO, wrote on X as he shared a video urging for ceasefire in the war-torn area. WHO loses contact with Al Shifa Hospital. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, Director General of the World Health Organization, in a post on X, said WHO has lost contact with focal points in Al Shifa Hospital, where newborn babies died after the hospital ran out of electricity. 13 Palestinians killed in Israeli strike in Khan Yunis. 13 Palestinians were killed in an Israeli strike on a house in Khan Yunis. Health officials in Hamas controlled Gaza told Reuters on Sunday. Russia begins evacuation of its nationals from Gaza. Evacuation of Russian nationals from Gaza Strip has begun and more than 60 Russian passport holders have crossed into Egypt. At the moment, citizens of the Russian Federation who wish to leave the conflict zone are crossing the checkpoint, Russia's emergency ministry told Reuters. Russian Emergency Situations Ministry specialists are providing medical and psychological assistance to the people on site and providing them with food and water, it said. That's it for today. Stay tuned with Indian Express for all the updates on Israel-Hamas conflict.